How's it going everybody? Uh, just real quick, bought a couple new bilge pumps and I'm gonna show you what I'm about to test on these. This is a 1100 gallon per hour bilge pump. This was delivered to my door. It was like one day shipping, 2818 Canadian dollars. And then I got this guy over here, which claims to be a 1500 gallon per hour bilge pump. And it was 3595 delivered to my door. I have always used this bilge pump. I guess I have it sitting upside down because that's how I wrote on it. But uh, this is what I've seen other people use and it's one of the cheapest pumps that you can possibly find. So that's why I bought it. This is the one that I was originally using and I took this little high banker power sluice, whatever you're gonna call it, gold extracting mechanism. Uh, I took it out and was gonna make a video about how it all works. And then of course this bilge pump decided to burn out on me because I was running it directly off of a 18 volt battery, possibly not recommended. So maybe in another video, I'll show you how to make one of these. You just buy this uh, battery adapter and then you plug it in and you can see it's reading 70%. Maybe you want 67%, maybe you want 75%, but right around 70%, this is a pulse width modulator. This one's good for 12 amps. You would want one good for at least five amps if you were gonna run the little guy here and you'd probably wanna go higher for one of these, but that's what we're gonna test today. Um, basically, if you run this at 70%, it would be the same thing as running it off of a 12 volt power supply right here. Cause I don't know, that's just the math I worked out. But running that directly off 18 volts, managed to burn out my old pump. So I bought a new pump and we're gonna test how many watts this thing draws and how many gallons per hour it in real life it puts out. Same with this one. So this is the new 1500 gallon per hour pump. Let me just show you, fire that thing up. So what you're looking at here is about 1000 US gallons per minute going through this sluice, which would calculate out to about 33 gallons per minute per foot of sluice width. Now, according to our little chart here we drew up earlier, your pop and sun sluice between 80 gallons per minute and 20 gallons per minute is for that ultra fine flower flaky gold. So 33 would actually work pretty nice. A Little bit quick right up here at the top but then as soon as everything gets classified in your sluice, things are running pretty nice right down here. Oh, and this is showing me the watts used. Right here it shows 74. When I did my uh, previous test, this was showing 73. So I've just temporarily connected the negative to negative and positive to, to positive using these clamps. That's not connected to anything. And this is my 18 volt tool battery. So when I engage that, that's running at 70%. If we look at it from this angle, 70%. So that looks pretty much identical. I'm just going to test at 70% what the bucket filling and calculate this output. But let's have a look here. There's 50%. Well, what is this? Let's put it right down to 30%. Just chugging along. Now, you could run this higher briefly, but I wouldn't go over 70% because I did burn out the other pump while I was out in the field, and I don't want to be doing that just in case. And again, this is just called a battery adapter. I think this was for like a Hot Wheels or something. And you can get these things off eBay. This is a rigid battery, a rigid battery adapter. There we go. So you can get this off eBay or I just bought this off Amazon because it was a little quicker shipping. And then this top part here I got off eBay. This is a Motor Governor ZK-BMG, 60 volts, 12 amps. Um, not very expensive, and I've just sort of double-sided taped it onto the back of this. You could easily um, wire these here up to, uh, you know, just a female side of one of these, and then you could plug in and out quite easily, or whatever clip you want to use. And then you can use your own tool batteries to run a sluice like this. 
Um, so let's get to the numbers. Let me set this thing down though, so it's a little more steady. This guy right here, which again was $28 shipped to your door. There it is. And I'll put a link in the description below. This bilge pump only used 42 watts. My old broken one actually used over 50 watts. <laughs> so it was either something was wearing out or this is just a better pump. This one also seems to be putting out, like it filled the bucket and on average in 13.4 seconds to fill 10 liters. So I calculated that out as 710 US gallons per minute. So slightly more efficient less power used, more water moved. This guy right here, it burned 73 watts for this one. It was 35.95. And so it was filling the bucket in 9.4 seconds on average, 1,012 gallons per minute, going through eight feet of this proper bilge hose. So eight feet is actually longer hose than I used last time, but it's just running a little bit more efficiently. So what can we learn from this? Basically, this guy right here burning 42 watts is going to last quite a long time on a battery. Like I said, I burnt the other one out when I was out in the field because I wanted to show you this thing running, um, you know, like, hey, here's it actually finding gold. But burnt the pump out running directly off 18 volts. So pulse width modulator wouldn't be too hard to set up. You can use your existing batteries and off you go. Based on my math, the uh, 42 watts this this battery right here is a six amp hour battery and it is I should have done the math before i started videoing myself it's 108 watt hours so over two hours runtime on this little guy and if you wanted to use this big guy here it'd be about an hour and a half if you were running at 70 percent draw on that guy now what I would actually recommend is the whole point of this is that you don't have to carry around a big gas pump. You don't want anything big and heavy. You could use something like that Jackery power bank right there. That would run the little pump for like 12 hours and the big pump for like eight hours roughly. But you can go to Amazon and you can buy a 12 volt, 20 amp hour battery. Remember, this is six amp hours uh, for $130 delivered to your door. It's a lithium iron phosphate, like a deep cycle lithium iron battery. You can charge it with a solar panel. So with a little folding 60 watt solar panel, you could literally run all day and that would just fit, fold it up inside the sluice. You could pick either one of these pumps. This pump here would use a little bit less power and it's all you'd ever need. Um, if you happen to be like up on some rocks a little bit above the water surface, you might actually want a little bit of extra power. And one thing that's interesting is if you look right down the hole here, I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but it lines up perfectly with the impeller. Like it's sort of an efficient shape. And then when you look at this guy, just the way it's designed, you look straight in, like the impeller is down here where the blue is, and then it sort of has to go up and around. And this is like in a weird spot. So I don't know, I don't know, like for an extra $8, you get that little bit of extra oomph if you're running it with a pulse width modulator, you can always just tune her down a little bit. And it never hurts to have that little bit of extra if you're trying to run through some material. I think that short of like that ultra flat cornflake gold where you're really, really wanting to make sure you don't put too much water in, you're gonna catch incredible fine gold in either one of these things. Um, that's all I'm gonna talk about in this video. Those are the two pumps. The links are going to be in the description below. It's not like an affiliate link. I'm not. I haven't done that yet. Maybe, maybe I should get on that. But uh, <laughs> no, at this point, it's just to help you guys out. Um, these are two options, like next day, shipped to your house, it'll show up the next day kind of thing. And that's what you would need to run this, this box. It's gonna come with the hose, like proper bilge pump that, bilge pump hose that plugs right in, everything's good. Just give you a really quick tour of this right now because I'll do a proper tour later. But this is a cam lock fitting. So it's going to come with this cam lock. It's going to come with this cam lock already glued onto the end of the hose. You can see there's like no water dripping under this. It's really nice setup. You're going to have this so that you can control your flow for cleanups when you get back home. Out in the field, you can essentially just unscrew this whole thing and you can screw this directly into that. And it's just a nice short compact unit. 
there it is. This versus the last time you saw it, there's a little bit of extra screen length here. The sides are a half inch higher. I noticed that you could dump about a third of a full shovel in. Um, you get to a half of a full shovel, it starts mounding over. Like, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of gravel in a big full shovel, but it just sort of sits here and goes around and works its way down. And the bottom of the sluice is running really, really nicely. The top of the sluice, you just put like a kitchen glove on in the cold, wash everything around. Number one advantage to this is that you're not going to have to worry about any of those nuggets and pickers just sliding off your high banker screen. Everything's going to stay down here. You can slide everything up onto this. I'm just going to set the camera down here real quick. So yeah, you, you kind of just slide everything up onto this if you want to inspect on this little inspection plate, see what kind of cool gemstones you're working with. Just get intimate with what you're doing. It's a good first unit step up from a pan. In my 15 minutes of experience until of course I uh, blew up my, my old bilge pump. It was pretty efficient, like it, it was a lot quicker than pre-screening everything into a bucket and then sitting here with a little scoop and scoop feeding it in. I literally just took a shovel, tucked it in here. Uh, this, I've sort of bent these edges out so you can grab it and that can be used as a handle and then basically it it clips in down here, not the most unawkward place to, to demonstrate this. There we go. Uh, but the idea being it is a tripod. So you've got two legs back here, one leg up here. It's so stiff being that it's only six inches wide, whether I support it over on this side or over on that side, it doesn't, doesn't twist at all. So having this just single in the middle, it helps the setup time because you're only leveling at one end. You don't have to worry about all four legs. Um, I could easily just throw four legs on this, but I'm trying to save a little bit of money for you guys. And I really like the, the ease of setup considering it's just a small six inch sluice. All of these high bankers are like scale models of the real thing. And you don't want a scale model of the real thing. You want something that's like given this is the size that it is, what's the best thing that we can put together? That's sort of what I was aiming for here. And then this is just trying to make the most use of it. So with it in, in this position, like you can, you can hold the entire thing at whatever angle you want just by that handle. It's, it's really solid. And then when you take your hose, you can wrap the hose up and it sort of like wraps up in here, bilge pump sits in here, your little battery sits in here, and you just walk through the woods with this unit. So it's gonna be pretty awesome. Um, I, the reason I haven't announced the price yet is I really wanted this thing to be a little bit lower priced than what I think I'm gonna be able to build it for. It's, you know, artisan built in my garage, aluminum. I can't just be in here doing this for minimum wage. The point is that this business helps get me into the outdoors so I can go hunting for gold, not to trap me in my garage working for minimum wage. So I'm trying to just calculate out my hours, the price of everything. I want to get this to market where it's affordable for as many people as possible, but um, I'm just spending the last day here making sure that I've got everything dialed in so that I'm not working for free. Uh, it's going to be a pretty cool unit. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I hope the bilge pump information was useful for anyone who's interested in either this box or your own DIY six inch high banker. That uh, 1500 gallon per hour one that actually puts out a thousand might, might be the ticket for you. Anyways, we'll, uh, we'll check in the next video and yeah, we'll go over pricing and the leg packages and all of that soon.